A Sustainable World is Possible. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 165. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 165, May 22nd, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the final 25% of the written content for the Courage lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan purpose to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of courage is now 100% completed on our website. Behind the scenes, we wrote the second 25% of the written part of the information lesson plan. We also completed the final 25% of the mind map for the summer lesson plan, bringing that to 100% complete, which you see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week in Highest Good Food, the core team continued working on the renders for the tropical atrium that is the center of the Earth Bay Village, Pod 1. Here you can see the finished render looking southeast and showing the hand terraces and trees there. The next step here is Photoshop colors and additions. We also completed these two renders of this structure. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also began creating these images for the tree aspects of the tropical atrium planting and harvesting plan. The purpose of these is to show the layering of these trees and how this has been done to maximize sunlight availability for all of them. Also, as part of the development of our food self-sufficiency transition plan, this week, naturopathic Dr. Matt Martirano, creator of the Coherent Model for Comprehensive Digestive Health, calculated and wrote out the daily requirements and preparation instructions for root vegetables for our meal plans. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team put another 10 hours into the behind-the-scenes revision for the Footers Foundations and Flooring page for the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week, we organized, wrote new narratives, and included additional info to steps 1 through 37 of section 10, construction of stem walls and dome. Additionally, we added scissors, chalk line, and chalk to Section 1, Tools and Materials list, along with photos of each item and usage explanation. We also edited and added additional info to Section 13, Subterranean Exterior Ground Finish of EPS Insulation and Polyethylene Water Barrier to External EPS Insulations. We'd say we are now 82% complete with this total update and rewrite behind the scenes. Brianna Johnson, interior designer, also continued evolving the renders for the Straw Bale Village Pod 2. What you see here is her render of the large-scale communal kitchen. Zachary Moline, graphic designer, also continued updating the Treehouse Village Pod 7 book created by last year's intern team. What you see here is Zachary's process of redoing the vision page, 
master plan page, some background images, and the sustainable design intro page. Dean Scholz, architectural designer, further developed what's necessary for us to create quality Cobb Village POB3 renders. Here's update 20 of this work that focused this week on creating more plants and beginning to place them appropriately. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, Shawnee Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, finished the final details for the city center renders of the cupola that tops this structure. These renders show this part of the building functioning as a classroom, a multimedia room, and a wellness space. Here you can see an example of the yoga studio. Iris Su, industrial designer, also continued exploring recycled pipe shelving options for the Duplical City Center Library. What you see here is round six of this work building more 3D examples of the corner shelving option we ended up choosing and different approaches for integrating these designs with the shelving and adjacent walls. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team completed updating all the icons for the highest good society sections of the website. What you see here are these icons added now to the Highest Good Society open source portal and collaborative resource and information hub. All the Highest Good Society pages you see linked here have also been updated. Jonathan DeAcentis, graphic designer and web developer, additionally continued development of our Highest Good Network logo as shown here. This week's changes were exploring different options for the separation of the words from the top and bottom and finalizing that we want rings. Stephen Peslowski, graphic designer, also created these new icon options for our social media links as well as these icon ideas for our open source copyrights, trademarks, and patenting pages along with a couple others. The reason one community is doing what one community is doing, why we're creating what we're creating is because we know that a sustainable world is possible. It's not only possible, but it's possible within our lifetime if enough people take action. So we're not waiting for somebody else to do it. We see that the technology already exists to create a sustainable planet if enough people would participate. And so we are creating an evolution of sustainability that will motivate people to participate. We're open sourcing and free sharing all the details to make it as easy as possible and to create the foundations necessary for endless iterations of sustainability that are created for the highest good of all life on this planet. Our idea is to take the foundations, the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and we are combining them with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as high good education, high good economics, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. We're putting these things together as an evolution of sustainability designed to provide a way of living that most people will consider better than the way that they're living right now. By doing this, we want to create a self-replicating teacher demonstration, community, village, city, and hub model that will move us towards the sustainable world we know is possible. By making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating sustainability is attractive enough, we will enroll people in the process. And by making it open source and free sharing, allow human ingenuity and creativity to do the rest. If we can make this way of living easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough that, and that people want to replicate it, and that it will become self-replicating because of the ease, the affordability, and the attractiveness of it. And so one community is meant to be the first of the teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs. It's meant to eventually de 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 evolve and develop into a city for 2,000 people, but it will start with 50. A very simple and easy model for 50 people that will be able to replicate anywhere in the world. And as we add and bring online additional teacher demonstration communities and hubs, different city designs, then we'll create other versions that can be built in different places and create a whole suite of sustainability options for people to choose from open sourcing it with our website and everything online, multimedia tutorials and presentations so that people with very little technical knowledge will be able to replicate complete sustainable villages built with sustainable means, sustainable materials, and that's how a sustainable world is possible. 
So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if this sounds interesting to you, if you'd like to be a part of what it is that we're creating, be on the cutting edge of sustainability as we ride this wave into the future, because we believe that a sustainable world is possible. We believe a sustainable world is possible within our lifetime. We're creating it. If you'd like to be a part of it, we invite you to join us. We've got lots of different ways to do that, ranging from the pioneer members that will build one community to volunteers working behind the scenes to just sharing our information on social media. We're on all the different social media networks, and the more we can get our information out there, we're on LinkedIn, we're on Twitter, we're on Tumblr, we're on Reddit, we're on Sue, we're on Pinterest, we're on Facebook. The more we can get our information out there, the faster the information will spread, and the more people get involved with our all-volunteer team. Nobody that's working for one community is paid. We're all coming together with consciousness for the highest good of all, because we know that we can make a difference by working together. Because we want to live this way, because we want to create the world that we know is possible, that truly meets the needs of every single person on this planet, that meets everyone's needs. We can create a world that works for everybody, and we see that as a noble and worthwhile venture. So get involved if it's interesting to you. If you'd like to participate, we've got lots of ways to do that. Uh, also, of course, we're still seeking large-scale funding. It's not our primary focus right now. Our primary focus is on being shovel-ready and all the open-source blueprints, tools, tutorials, and resources. But to get the property off the market would accelerate our process. It would allow us to share the location. It would allow us to bring on more volunteers because we get a lot of people who won't volunteer until they know that it's a location that they can be, that is where they want to be. And we can't share that until we own it. Uh, and it would allow us to really take our development open source process to a whole new level, level as we do a lot of different things that can only be done once we can be on the ground doing site surveys, etc. So if you or somebody you know has the resources, we'd love to talk to you. That said, we will, of course, continue moving forward. A sustainable world is possible only if people want to create it, and this is what we're focused on. We're focused on getting more and more people involved in the process, and we know if we create with the consciousness for the highest good of all, if we continue to put out the call for others with the consciousness for the highest good of all, and maybe this is you, we know that if we keep creating this way, if we keep putting out the call, our team will build, and it doesn't take that many people with the consciousness for the highest good of all to create the foundation necessary to build something that will meet the needs of everybody. Because once we've created it, you don't have to have the consciousness for the highest good of all to replicate it just for self-serving needs or for whatever reasons people want. But because it's created with that consciousness, it's still moving humanity forward. And if people were doing what it is that we're doing for all their own personal reasons, they could be completely selfish. The humanitarian potential, the philanthropic potential, is sufficient to chance transform our world for everybody, to create a planet that truly works for everybody. If you think of a family and the way that they work, maybe not every single person within that family is doing what they do because they want to take care of the family. Maybe they're doing it because they have to or because they have some selfish reason. You know, But if you have one guiding light within that family to keep moving in a specific direction, that's all it takes. And so our goal is to create a global family and to be that guiding light as an organization, creating what's necessary so that the rest of the members of family humanity can use it in whatever way they want. But it's all being created for the highest good of all to create a planet that truly works for everybody within our lifetime. This is what we're doing. This is how a sustainable world is possible. And this is how we invite you to participate. So thanks for following our progress. If you'd like more details, specifics, links, you can visit our written blog. Also, uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the small donations. None of us are paid, so those small donations help cover our expenses, which are pretty significant for a global organization like ours. And uh, as always, thank you for tuning in. We will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.